Hey guys, this is the SGCM X Talk video, and today Jeremy and myself are going to talk about the updated Audi A4 sedan. And yes, I know both of us are carrying umbrellas. It's raining now, but this just goes to show how committed we are to giving you updated reviews. And speaking of updates, Julian, I bet you thought this was an all new Audi A4. Yeah, I initially thought this was an all new model. Ah, yeah. But it's a major update. Actually, well, major, Audi, major update. I guess Audi did a good thing not to mess with a good thing, you know? It was, he did the right thing. And you're right on that account. If you notice, they've just, you know, they've added these nice contours, made it look a little bit more aggressive, gave it LED headlights. Okay. And then as you look towards the rear of the car, you know, the, the rear fenders just flare out a little bit, just very subtle. And it's these subtle touches that when you apply them to an already good design, yeah. it's enough to keep the design like looking fresh. And in this case, not only looking fresh, but made you think it was it's actually an all-new all car. Okay, okay. Why don't we check out? You're saying that the rear has got some changes as well, right? Yes, the rear okay, has let's, had let's a, check out the rear. Some, check a out the change rear. as well, yep. The Audi A4 sedan mild hybrid is priced from $182,540 to this $192,490 for this advanced variant. The 2-litre turbocharged engine produces 188 brake horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. The 7-speed S-Tronic transmission brings the A4 from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 7.3 seconds. For more details on the Audi A4 sedan mild hybrid or any other car, head on to sgcarmart.com to help you make the smart choice on your next car. Now, while Julian is getting acquainted with the new MMI system in the front of the car, let's talk a little bit more about this boot area. Now, you'll notice this chrome strip that links the two taillights together. That's inspired by the larger A6 and A8 saloons. So, I want to give the A4 a more upmarket feel. And then there's some more chrome down here. It, it just gives the rear profile an elegant yet sporty look. Open the boot lid, you'll find 460 litres of boot space. Anchi trolley fits in lengthwise, no problem. The big cabin luggage goes in, also no problem. I like these little partitions here, these elastic nets. You can keep small items. If, if it were me, I would put like microfiber cloths for wiping down the car. And since there's two sides, like maybe one side I can put the clean ones, the other side the dirty ones. Uh, the car comes with an elastic cargo net. And you can tether it to these four tethering points. Um, you can't really see because of the, the luggage inside. And having that cargo net means after you go do your grocery shopping, you can chuck your groceries under there. They'll be secure, uh, even if you drive a little bit dynamically. So I'm lounging in the back seat of the new Audi A4, and the first thing I notice is, well, I've got a lot of headroom. I'm about 1.73 meters tall, and apart from the headroom, as you can see, I've got generous legroom as well. This is my driving position. Foot space is pretty decent. I mean, over here, you, you can't really see maybe from there, but there's a nice storage point here. I can put like a big bottle of water. Um, what else do I see? There's a third climate zone here. So if I'm feeling warm or feeling hot, you know, press of a button, problem solved. There's also a... 12 volt outlet here so you could buy one of those like uh, USB adapters that you know plug in here then you can charge your devices over here okay here's your uh, armrest comes with not two cup holders there's another storage point a thin one and another thing I've noticed is well over here I think the opposite side passenger he or she would be as comfortable as I am here in this position. But I'm not too sure about the center occupant who's got a high floor protrusion to deal with. Uh, that could be a little bit awkward. Maybe, maybe not. In the meantime, 
Now let's go and see what Julian is up to in the front of the car. Ah, ah, okay. Ah. Now there's always a feel-good quotient when you enter Audi cars and the latest updated Audi A4 sedan is no exception. Uh, I can immediately tell that the cabin has been simplified yet upscaled and modernized but a little bit about that later on. Right now, I'm faced with a full HD digital instrument cluster, what Audi calls the Virtual Cockpit Plus. There are three different layouts that you can customize here to just suit your needs and your wants, but more importantly, everything can be controlled via this multifunctional steering wheel buttons right here that really feel good to the touch. Uh, I can see all the driving information, uh, the assist, the radio phone, navigation, so and so forth. Uh, but back to the topic of simplification within the car. The 10.1 inch MMI touchscreen has replaced the previous infotainment system and that is always a good thing because what used to be a rotary knob right here is now gone. So you, it's, it, it, it clears the center console. It's now very uncluttered. It's being replaced with like cubby holes and cup holders and all that kind of stuff. Something that's more functional, I guess, in that sense. But I think what's really cool is that this touchscreen, while not having any haptic feedback like the ones that you see on the Audi A8, is actually not exactly a bad thing because there is no lag, it's immediate, and it's a nice sound to it, nice tiak sound to it, and I kind of like it. Um, I think what's also good is that there isn't a second uh, screen below. Um, you kind of see that in bigger cars like the A8 and the Q8 as well, because that kind of takes up a lot of space, and it's very complex. And Audi, what happens is the Audi A4 just replaces it with the regular buttons here and the volume knob that's volume knob that's just right here, this one button action right here. Elsewhere, everything feels very good to the touch, good materials, the seats that I'm on are just fantastic. In fact, I like the colour that we have today. It's grey on grey. So it's poof, very classy, very elegant. Everything feels good to the touch. Button feels really, really good. I don't know, it's, it's just... Something about Audi cars, right? I mean, while other car makers are trying to overwhelm you with all the tech and all the goodies, Audi just keeps it really simple, but yet it's still very, very elegant. Well, I, I hope it drives just as well as it looks. It's one way to find out. Audi A4 sedan, the car that I'm driving today, Audi calls it the advanced variant. So it pumps out some um, 190 brake horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque from its 2 litre 4 port turbocharged engine. Now, I'm not going to dwell on the details of performance and, and maybe even handling because Jeremy will be feeding you guys information on that. And also because I want to be just drop dead honest with you guys. I'm actually in a lot of pain. I've got a recurring back problem. My back! And a couple of days ago, I kind of just, it came back. Um, some of you may know that I actually drive a manual car. Every time I clutch in, it hurts. It's tormenting because the pain, it's so bad that it feels like as if I have a permanent stomach ache and the pain just triggers down to my left leg. So clutching in and out just, just makes it a torturous affair. The last couple of days, I had several different test cars, um, automatic test cars, thankfully. So when I drive those, I feel a lot easier, a lot more comfortable. And then I have the Audi A4. I jumped into it, started the car and started driving out into the rain. And it just takes comfort to a whole new level. You know what I mean? There's nothing the Audi A4 can't do. Yes, its competitors has, has have got a reputation for um, a more dynamic drive, a more luxurious batch if you may, but I don't really care because it's times like these where I feel like, you know what, thank God I'm driving the Audi A4 because this car could well be the most comfortable car in its class. 
You guys may not be able to see what I'm facing right now. It's raining cats and dogs, and it's very painful to drive because I can't really see where I'm going. I'm actually trying to not get into an accident with this crazy downpour. Because the view out isn't that clear, I don't know if the roads are properly paved. I can't see bumps and ruts clearly. I don't see small little hums. I don't see broken tarmacs. And, and usually, of course, you know, I mean, when you see them, you kind of slow down, but I can't because I don't know if it's there or not, so I just drive at a constant speed. Yet, the Audi A4 manages to soak all these undulations up with ease. It takes all of it in, in its stride. And it sends little or no vibrations back into the cabin. And because of that, I just feel like, oh, thank God I'm piloting the Audi A4 today. I'm not saying that you should only consider the A4 if you have a back problem. I'm just saying it is nevertheless one of the best in its class when it comes to comfort. So, Julian has talked about the comfort aspects about the new Audi A4, about how comfortable the ride is. But I'm interested in something a little bit more dynamic, and that's performance. And when it comes to performance, this, this car, it's got that turbocharged 2.0-litre engine, and it's pumping out about 190 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. But I'm not sure if Julian got to mention this, but it's when these figures peak. And in the case of power, that 190 horsepower, that's, that's coming in from about 4,200 RPM and it stretches all the way to 6,000 RPM. Now, what does that mean? When you're really gunning it, that means you keep the RPMs high, you keep them up right at that sweet spot so that the engine is constantly pumping out that 190 horsepower. And in terms of torque, now this is where the A4 can really shine. That 320 Newton meters, that comes in at around just above 1400 RPM, and all the way to just over 4000 RPM. That's a really wide power band. That, that leaves you plenty of room to like stretch the engine and play with it a bit more. And speaking of which, that's what I'd like to do now. I can just put the gearbox in sport mode in, or S mode just by tapping down like this and you get a lot of power. Then put your foot down, car takes off, easy peasy. And I feel like I've, I've really left the gap between, between us and, you know, and the car behind. So that 188 horsepower that gets sent to the front wheels via this quick shifting 7 speed dual clutch gearbox in Audi speak, S-Tronic. What you need to know is how fast this thing is. I mean, so most times you just put your foot down, just like that, car takes off. But if you need the gearbox to be a little bit more responsive, tap down, put it in S or sport mode, it tends to hold the gears a bit longer, letting you exploit that power band that I mentioned earlier. But if you want like maximum engagement, then slide the gear lever over to the left. And you now have full manual control. I'm in sixth gear now. Maybe I need to overtake a car, that's easy. Tap twice on the pedal shifter. I go down to fourth gear. Revs go up car surges forward and that's great really now performance aside Audi is very big on efficiency so the key thing they've done with the new Audi A4 is give it a mild hybrid system so compared to a full hybrid system a mild hybrid is exactly that a milder version of it so you can't travel on electric power over long distances like a full hybrid can but it allows you to do things like coasting. So what's coasting? Coasting is when conditions are right at, at a certain speed, you lift off the accelerator and the engine cuts out, allowing you to coast. So when the engine cuts out, what does that mean? You don't burn any petrol. So according to Audi, this system will allow you to save about 0.3 liters of petrol per 100 kilometers traveled. That's not too bad. 
considering it is a mild hybrid system. Now, so far we've talked about the car's power, the power delivery, the gearbox. Now I'd like to talk a bit about the handling. Now, in terms of handling, what Audi has done is give the A4 a big car feel. Like it has the refined feel of a, you know, maybe it's A6 sibling. But in terms of outright handling, this car is what I call a neat handler. Now, neat means it's very progressive. It gives back just about as much as what you put into it. Now, you wouldn't want a car that, you know, you put in this much and you get back that much. That would be scary to most drivers, even myself. And now we've got some nice twisty roads here. And I find that the A4, I mean, it just, it just tucks in nicely. You know, I've got the drive select in auto. You know, there's that little bit of understeer just to, you know, keep it on the safe side. But otherwise, it's progressive, it's predictive. I know that it's not going to just snap back at me just because I decided to charge hard into a corner. And that's what I like about it. And I think most drivers will appreciate that, coupled with the fact that despite having, you know, being able to take corners like these, it's still a nice, pliant ride, quiet, and you need that. You need that in a car that you're going to drive every day. A car that you know that can handle corners and yet it does it in a progressive, seamless way and won't bite back. Right, so one of the coolest things in the new Audi A4 is the upgraded infotainment system called MMI Navigation Plus. It, the interface, it, feels like an extension of your smartphone and it even has a handy voice assistant function which you can you know you just press a button on the steering wheel and you can ask it to do certain things for you so say i was supposed to go on a date with my wife tonight and it slipped my mind and now i'm i'm driving along perhaps i'm on my way home to pick her up and I realize I haven't done any planning, I can just press the button and say something like restaurants. I'm looking for destinations. And right then and there, I have at least... Wow, I, I thought it was like five choices. I've actually got something like maybe 20 choices that I could bring my wife to and... You know, maybe if she doesn't watch this video, she wouldn't find out that I actually forgot about our date night. So here's the biggest question, guys. Will buy, won't buy, or go try? Jeremy, do you have the answer? Yes, I do, Julian. I do too. All right, in three, two, one. We'll, we'll buy. buy. All right, buy. Oh, Fantastic. Okay. I mean, after having driven the car a fair bit, I do find I, I think the performance is to my liking. I mentioned earlier that, you know, I like that progressive handling. Mm. It's not a car that's gonna bite, bite me if I try to, you know, be a bit too dynamic a driver with it Fair or enough. something. Yeah. Fair enough. And then I like the tech, you know, that MMI system. Yeah. I mean, it's it's of great convenience. I I could hook, hook the car up to my phone via an app. I, I could check whether I've locked the car. I could check where the car right, right, is. Right. And yeah. all these things. I mean, yeah. to me anyway, these things matter. Okay, well, I, I totally yeah. get what you mean. But for me, I'm not so into the handling as well as the performance, but I can tell you I'm really, really thankful that I drove the Audi A4 today because it's easily one of the most comfortable cars in its class. Um, I like how it looks, in my opinion, in my mm -hmm. eyes at least, it looks very nice, very coherent sheet metal. The interior is very elegant, mm -hmm. very modernized, yet very understated, very uncluttered, and I really, really love that kind of feeling. I think the Audi A4 sedan is probably the only car you'll ever need if you want to haul your family from place to place in a fast, free, comfortable manner. I agree with you. And on that note... Thank you very much for watching, so please don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and please don't forget to hit the bell notification button so that you'll be notified every time we upload new videos. In the meantime, comment in the comment box below and tell us what you think about the updated Audi A4 sedan. Be well, stay safe.